Hey there, I'm Amgris, I'm still in Georgia. It's been almost three months or a little bit more than three months, I'm not counting that. And um, I went to Batumi at the end of de December. Yes, it was some time ago, but still it was great. And uh, I've got uh, a lot of nice footage from Batumi and uh, from the suburbs of that city. So enjoy the video. We have arrived at the bus station to continue our journey. And uh, um, there are a lot of inscriptions in Russian, like Stayanka 8, the bus stop 8. And uh, we are searching for our bus, whatever, wherever it is. <laughs> so as you figure it out, uh, we took a bus to Batumi from Tbilisi. Uh, you can get to Batumi several ways but uh, one of the main ones are uh, by railway or by bus because uh, that was uh, close to new year um, we couldn't get a train ticket because they were just sold out and we got there by bus and uh, um, it's um, almost the same time period that you will travel it's like about five hours uh, by train or by bus don't remember exactly but something like that and uh, by bus it's not that uh, uncomfortable uh, the seats were really nice uh, but there was um, one challenge because um, before one day before the trip in the morning i hate when i get calls in the morning so in the morning some woman called me and said that uh, we got uh, uh, changed our uh, seat numbers and there are some other changes as well so your new seat numbers are x and y I hate calls in the morning because I don't remember the information they give me uh, if it's in the morning and if I sleep after that. So we got to the um, bus station. I figured out that we need to get the updated information. We got uh, to, into the um, ticket office, got the new information, they printed that out and uh, we said, okay, new seats, went into the bus and took the seats. But there was some fuss going on around that people were uh, boarding the wrong bus and uh, Eventually, we figured out that we actually got on the wrong bus. A couple of minutes before the departure, uh, we got out of the bus, we grabbed our luggage from the luggage compartment, uh, we took our luggage to another bus, uh, sat there. The bus was worse than the previous one, but eventually we found out that it was okay because the seats were really comfortable. So we got to Batumi, to some place in Batumi, behind Batumi, and we need did to get uh, through the, uh, the whole Batumi to another part of Batumi. So that was a challenge, but um, that's traveling and uh, it's always much fun. Suddenly it's winter. I don't know where we are right now, but it's, um, it's beautiful. We are staying in uh, the village near Batumi and here we can see the locals. Hello! And we also can see a lot of orange trees, tangerine, mandarins, whatever you call them. Uh, guys, uh, our friends that live here, they don't even stay, uh, don't even buy fruit in the uh, shop, they just grab them from the trees and as I thought uh, the uh, rooster doesn't want to give his sound another one wants <laughs> to give a sound when I'm filming Why he's you? eating yeah we are entering the famous fish market in Batumi they say that that's uh, like must see and must experience that uh, so let's go, they say it's uh, fixed prices and uh, you can just um, wander around, buy something and then go to the, uh, to the restaurant that is nearby and uh, cook that. Looks tasty. It is so fresh that you can see it's still breathing. When we are asked the question how much we will take, well, we are saying like, like this, <laughs> just grab and uh, grab and go. <laughs> That's what we bought. We bought berabulka. No idea how it's called in English. 
we've got uh, shrimps uh, and uh, octopus and now we will head to the some restaurants so that they will cook it for us and now we're searching a place where they will cook that for us uh, because um, uh, they have uh, uh, because they have just um, people who are actually uh, looking for you and uh, they can't let you go but we managed to grab our bag because they have a habit of grabbing your bag and just uh, taking you to the place so now we'll be searching ourselves for the place we decided not to choose the cheapest one but to choose the one with a great view and it looks really nice and uh, here is wine menu and another menu so we'll be checking that That's the seaport and from over here we can see the city center where we are right heading right now and yeah we are not taking the most uh, spectacular route but it's just 20 minutes walk so although Clarkson said that there is no such thing as 15 minutes walk walk but unfortunately we are not Jeremy Clarkson we are entering the city center and we can see the meteor this uh, uh, sort of sheep boat Soviet sheep uh, that is Sochi Batumi with underwater uh, what are they called uh, like like underwater thing that you can see here and that's the cable way where we are going right now and underwater wings right and those are really nice buildings in Batumi and new ones and pretty old ones that look like colonial thing uh, I'm pretty excited this is the 30th of December and we have palm trees we have everything that is not connected with the New Year's but it's it's exciting it's overwhelming a little bit you don't miss you don't see me a lot in these vlogs uh, because I'm uh, more eager to film uh, something rather than film myself uh, but uh, right now we are at the seaside and it smells like sea you know it's uh, it's really nice and we are going I hope that I won't trip I finally put my mic on and have a look at that where this thing is taking us but we will give it a try and see whether the, view, the views are nice there car parking just bus parking that's not essential ticket office let's check how expensive that is place in Batumi um, the prices the prices ticket price 30 lari that is insane it is like fifteen dollars or something like that. Um, not sure whether we are taking that or not. We'll discuss it right now. It looks a little bit like a Soviet cafe that, that was called uh, Cafe Marojne. That is cafe ice cream. Uh, it is kind of really luxurious, prestigious Soviet recreation and it's just uh, near the seaside and you know to, to right now it's about plus 12 degrees celsius and it's pretty hot when the sun is shining but in the shadow it's just okay 
So we decided not to go to the cable way because 30 lari it's they're just so fucked up and that's too much. Uh, we are going that direction and looking at different uh, ships, sheep, sorry, I believe it's not in plural. And one of them is uh, disassembled. We'll have a look at that as well. Maybe not so exciting, but quite interesting actually. And this tower, this one is called Alphabet Tower. So you can see that it is like uh, the <laughs> DNA uh, spiral. <laughs> I believe it's called, uh, with the alphabet, the Georgian alphabet. And that is the tower that I will be talking in just a couple of minutes about, because it's also pretty interesting. And uh, let's have a look at the, will you say hi? <laughs> so that's the disassembled ship. And actually I thought that it's not made, what is it made out of, metal? Wood. wood it looks like wood but i thought that this is metal but it's wood so authentic <laughs> and that is some cargo ship and some other ones this is the tower of chacha i believe i've told you that chacha is the georgian vodka uh, made out of the remainings of the grapes uh, that are left after the uh, wine is made and this tower was actually the tower of chacha so uh, for some time chacha was pouring out of it like a fountain uh, but it happened for a really little amount of time and right now it's just a tower but let's have a look it's closed i believe and all the taps or if there were some, yep, nothing is happening over here. Although we can crawl onto that, but there is nothing there, actually. It used to be a great thing, but now it's just abandoned. It's <laughs> That is the sculpture called Ani, I believe Ali or Ani and Nino. And in the evening they are, they start moving and they're kind of uh, getting inside each other. Uh, but then they're going apart and then going inside. So you get the idea, I believe. But right now it's switched off. And I believe the same thing, kind of a closer thing there is in Prague. I believe I've seen something like that, but I'm not sure. So it's um, nice, it has a nice overview uh, over the sea. And there is this thing that costs 10 lar, that's about $5. That is not that expensive, but that's not exciting. So we're gonna stroll around for some more time. Hey! <laughs> uh, this is the footage uh, to show how I touch the water, uh, feel really cold and just uh, uh, get down inside that, uh, just uh, fucking breathing for like, like, let's see what will happen. Idea how much that is in Fahrenheit, and maybe it will be wider to go. Oh no, it's pretty steep and slippery. But it's not that cold actually, and it doesn't smell. My brother's friend is right now in Goa, and uh, he has been filming the videos like he's walking through the jungle, through the palm trees, and we can do the same <laughs> here in Batumi. Yeah, by the way, we're in Batumi right now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we can go over here, we can go over there, and it's nice anyway. Wandering around Batumi, and it's really beautiful out here.
Christmas tree because our friends uh, have got a kid that really wants to get a Christmas tree and uh, I am here somewhere near some station a uh, stadium sorry and uh, searching for a Christmas bazaar uh, they've said that it's somewhere here so let's find it and somehow get into the taxi and uh, get it to our place good luck okay I walked across the stadium not across uh, but like uh, around the stadium and it looks like Christmas bazaar or not not sure yet we'll check it out <laughs> but it looks like a lot of Christmas trees so hopefully I'm here and it smells like Christmas trees so we're searching for a small one that will fit into the taxi I've got a Christmas tree I'm holding it and it's lots of Christmas trees but this one is really nice and it's really difficult to walk with that it's about 50 centimeters like half of the meter but it's really really nice one I guess I made a mistake and actually I bought not the Christmas tree but the uh, like I don't know whether you can see that or not I will try to nah so that's just the wooden thing uh, where the leaves are attached to but it looks really nice what do you think it looks really nice so I hope the kid will like it here is the Christmas tree I brought it I bought it and brought it like the song of Ariana Grande <laughs> something like that and uh, we're gonna gift it to the kid of our friends uh, so let's uh, bring it and gift it Here is the ready Christmas tree and it looks really amazing and I have the honor to put the first um, Christmas toy, Christmas ornament on it. Probably they will replace it but uh, but that is a candy, that is a chocolate uh, Father Cro Frost as they call it, Det Maros. So it's... Uh, it looks awesome! <laughs> we are going for a hunt for tangerines or mandarines, once again, whatever, whatever you call it. Um, it's uh, Gonio Batumi, so it's uh, the way that you can just uh, grab uh, those things from the tree. And it works like this. And we're searching for them for our journey because tomorrow we're traveling all okay, not tomorrow but today because it's over midnight. We're traveling to Yerevan and we need some snacks and uh, freshly taken out of the tree tangerines working like this. Uh, we're not gathering them properly because you should uh, like roll them over the branch but we're doing it fiercely but there are a lot it smells amazing Diana is just assisting me and she's doing all the work by herself. Yay! No, that's okay. Grapefruits! I want a grapefruit. Although grapefruit is not in plural, so it's just grapefruit. So we're just searching for them. I have no idea where they are. I believe she has the knowledge about how to grab them. Okay, that looks nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three. <laughs> 
Так, мон... Give me a second. No, I don't need lemons. Ну, две штучки лимонов с чаем. That looks nice. She made me to grab some lemons as well, and they look really fantastic. She's just taking them. That looks awesome. Thank you. It's 7.30 a.m. approximately, and we are heading to Tbilisi back to take a bus to Yerevan. So our trip is going on and I will be telling you about our New Year's celebrations a little bit later, okay? So that was our trip to Batumi. We visited our friends, we observed Batumi, walked around it and celebrated New Year's there. Why haven't I filmed that? Um, the story is pretty nasty. It's uh, because uh, when we were shopping for the uh, table, for the uh, food dishes uh, in the supermarket, after that we got tired and decided to grab a snack. We went to Wendy's. I remember Wendy's many, time, many years ago was in Moscow and I really liked it there. So I was uh, passionate to try Wendy's again, but it was not that tasty. It was cold, it was uh, not that exciting. But when it was uh, the evening of the 21st of December, we've got uh, food poisoning, my brother and I. And uh, we have a tradition of uh, celebrating the new year of uh, the time zone where we are uh, during the celebration. And then we're celebrating the uh, new year of Moscow of, or of Samara, because there are different uh, time zones. So uh, Batumi and Georgia have uh, the uh, time zone the same as Samara. So we just got a sip of champagne and uh, later we went downstairs to our room and uh, after an hour we celebrated the Moscow's New Year, lying in bed, drinking Brajomi and uh, feeling really bad. Uh, but the next day, on the 1st of January, uh, at the end of the day we felt much better and uh, uh, we had uh, just a gathering with friends, uh, we um, at the remainings, we uh, had a chat. Uh, that was a private thing, so I didn't film that. But this New Year celebration was not that nice. But in general, the whole trip to Batumi was uh, uh, still great. Um, you've seen the video. And um, have you got any questions about Tbilisi, Batumi, Georgia? Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification button, and see ya!